everyone. So uh, there is basically a lost week of vlogging. I just, there's a few clips uh, that you'll see from last week, but it was just, uh, I took a few days off vlogging and then by the time I was ready and wanting to do more clips, I had run out of space on my phone and run out of space on my computer. So I needed to like edit and upload all the stuff on my computer. So then I could put stuff off of my phone onto there. So then I can have room on my phone. <laughs> so anyhow, here we are on Monday and I thought I'd do a quick wrap up of two books that I finished since I've been vlogging, two really fun books, and then tell you my reading plans now. Uh, so I'm very happy with how July is going because I did have kind of a low key summer TBR that I had eventually I put up those six books on my bookstagram and uh, I think I'll be able to make time for those and um, finishing up the other ones that I've been wanting to get to. So yeah, I'm just feeling I'm in a really good reading groove. It's turning out to be a really great summer of reading, which is really nice compared to last summer where I read barely a blessed thing. The first thing that I finished last week, I was able to finish Curtsies and Conspiracies before I had to go back to the library. So that is the second in Gail Carriger's finishing school series. And it is just so much fun. It's a steampunk YA series and is just what I need when I want something just really fun and dynamic and exciting uh, and just really easy to plow through. So yeah, I'm just really really excited about it as as a series and there are so many Gail Carriger, Carriger books to go. Um, yes, I finished that one combining audiobook and physical book. Then on a very exciting Mary Stewart note, last week myself and the other ladies read This Rough Magic. This takes place in Corfu and this woman is visiting her sister who's vacationing there and one day while on the beach she finds a body uh, and this just was such such a fun one such it was like so many little elements that added up to now to be this is tied for my second favorite Mary Stewart with touch not the cat so many fun elements including um, swimming with dolphins uh, and all of the uh, like local flavor of Corfu you getting a real feel for that and then also a fair amount of humor and arts and culture, music and theater, uh, and talking about different plays. Uh, it was just so much fun. And her sister, who she's visiting, is pregnant with twins and, you know, talking all the time about how she's unhappy about how, how big she looks in a swimsuit. And of course, she looks adorable. Uh, so it was just like so many little things that added up just to this perfect book. And... What I really especially loved was this is around 400 pages and 300 pages in the like a big climax happens and then the next 100 pages was like an extra satisfying wrap up. It was still there was still plenty of action, even though it had totally um, lots had happened. But she just did it in such a way, the pacing I just thought was perfect in this. You know, like I said, there was still 100 pages to go, but there was still a lot that needed to be wrapped up neatly and taken care of. And she did it and included humor and um, sweet romance. Yes, I just, it was, I am so, I can't stop smiling thinking about this book. Um, this year of reading Mary Stewart with these lovely ladies. It's going to be hard to beat, uh, I think 2018, honestly. And this year also, I just, I'm reading exactly what I want. Uh, I've talked before, you know, literary fiction and I, we have a complicated relationship. There is some Ian McEwan I would definitely like to go to, but the vast majority of literary fiction authors, I just don't like. I don't like the like cynical feel in a lot of those books. So I'm just so happy. I'm not there, like I said, there are some that I would like, but then I hate having to spend so much time sifting through the one to find the ones that I would actually like when I can find mysteries and classics, you know, other stuff that I know I'll love. So I'm just very excited with how this year is going. Uh, then also a big treat. I finally got around to, I was 
delayed like a week. But Katie from Life Between Words and I are reading through the Narnia series this year. It's a reread. Um, and the next one, this one for this month was The Silver Chair. I am listening to the audiobook because they are delightful. And it is Jeremy Northam. I think that's the name. But he plays M he plays Mr. Knightley in the Gwyneth Paltrow Emma that came out in like 1995. And he does a great job. I uh, am up to chapter 10. So I'm right there. So I really don't have much to go. And this is going to be my second favorite uh, next to The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I think what I love is all of the traveling on foot. I remember adoring that in The Fellowship of the Ring. And as nice as it, you know, as cool as it is them traveling around to the different islands in The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, it gets a little bit repetitive where I love seeing to get, getting to see the variety of landscape in this and like giant country and uh, now they're underground. So just really just a treat, treat, treat to read. And I am just so pleased to be going through this series again and enjoying this as much as I had remembered. I unfortunately did not enjoy Prince Caspian and the Voyage of the Dawn Treader as much as I remembered. Um, so it's nice to be reading that one. July is very is being very kind to me with my reading this month. Um, so I should finish that in a couple days. Uh, then the, the next two books that are the last kind of library books that I'm trying to get through before I really concentrate on my summer TBR. I just kept getting too many library books and I have these books on my summer TBR I want to get to too much. So I'm not letting myself check out any more library books. But this is one that I do want to finish beforehand and that is Furthermore by Tahira Mafi. Um, so much fun. I'll Just give me all the whimsy. So I am 160 pages into it out of 400 and I will be working on this especially since yesterday I just sat down and finished this rough magic and the only other um you know I just have to finish up the silver chair and the only other buddy reading obligation I have is the month-long reread of Gone with the Wind with Stephanie from That's What She Read and I can't believe it but I am only two chapters behind on this this is such a chunky book but I'm telling you it does not feel hard to read. It does not feel hard to get through. So right now I am 486 pages through it. So I am like a little bit over halfway. Um, I, I can't rave about this book enough. Uh, just the like depth of knowledge you have for the characters in this um, is incredible. I mean, it's just incredible. Um, then I have made some more progress on Desperate Remedies. This has been a very unique reading experience. It's like the whole time I've been mildly, fairly interested, but I don't know. The only thing is it's just as interesting as Lady Chatterley's, uh, not Lady Ch uh Lady Audley's Secret, which is another Victorian sensation novel, but... I think I have more of an emotional connection to Lady Audley's Secret, unfortunately. So that's what, like I said, the plot feels just as exciting and fast moving, but I'm not sure how much of an emotional connection I have. I, I'm starting to get one more now. I finished volume two out of three and two of the main characters, I'm starting to feel more invested in them. So I'll be interested to see, um, talk to you when you hear from me after I finished um, all of it, if that emotional connection build, built even more or not so much. I have exactly eight chapters left, so I'm going to try to read two chapters each day and have this finished by Friday, um, just because it'll be nice, you know, get some of those done so that I can um, move on to the summer TBR. So I will very quickly, I'll just show you those six books. That won't take long to show. I am going to be working on cooking a mushroom and barley soup. I have been trying to find more vegetarian recipes out there. So if you have recipes that are not too expensive to make and are super duper tasty and vegetarian, please send them my way because I want to have, you know, good options. Um, so I'll try to show you, you know, some of the mushroom soup making. And then I totally forgotten in the summertime, I love to have cucumber water. Does anybody else love cucumber water? I remember the first time I discovered it, I was in Disney World like seven years ago and it was a super hot day and I came down at the resort I was staying in and they just had these cups with cucumber water and it was amazing. 
So it's just really great to have cucumber on hand for salads and also cucumber water in the summertime. It's very refreshing. Um, yeah, so this has been a long wrap up. I'm gonna move this vlog along and I'll see you very soon. So, um, I am having so much fun with the new podcast that Molly and Katie, uh, Molly from Molly Reads and Katie from Life Between Words are doing No Thanks for Booked. It's so much fun. So I'm listening to that whilst cooking and the recipe is, um, Smitten Kitchen and it's mushroom and farro soup, but I said, um, I could not find farro at the grocery store, so I'm just using barley, which she said was a good substitute. But the first thing you're supposed to do is covered dried, cover dried mushrooms. Um, so I got these mushrooms and I put them in there and you're supposed to soak them for um, 20 minutes or like while you do the rest of it. And then um, chop up one pound is it one pound yeah chop up one pound of mushrooms so i really do love mushrooms so i'm hope so the next step um is to saute in oil but i'm doing some butter first and then i'll do a little bit of olive oil some chopped up onions and carrot one carrot and garlic um and of course i did extra cloves of garlic uh and then next um is some barley, which I haven't really cooked with barley. I don't think I've ever cooked with barley. Um, and putting that in and using the soaked mushroom liquid and then chopping these ones up. It's just supposed to add tons of extra flavor. Um, then I am, we do have some zucchini. And so I'm gonna saute some zucchini with garlic and butter as well. And also peel these and boil them, turn them into a puree for Arthur because he just doesn't seem that interested in oatmeal. And so Dave thought um, maybe he might like carrots more. So we'll do that all while listening to The Silver Chair. Hi, everyone. It is now Tuesday afternoon. I forgot to do any vlogging this morning, but it was just a quiet morning at home. And then uh, we have neighbors up the street who Peter had not seen uh, his friend Thomas for a little while because we had been out of town and then they had been out of town. So it was really nice. They got to see each other and they've been asking to play together for a while. So they had fun playing with trains and things. It was too hot to be out. So we just went over to their house. Um, so it looks like next week might be a bit cooler. So we might be outside a little bit more, which would be nice. Uh, and this morning though, I did read two chapters of Gone with the Wind. So I'm still two chapters behind but I'm not more behind, you know, I was able to still read two today. And I think I want to work on um, my two chapters of Desperate Remedies that I'm hoping to read. I read the big chapter that was the end of the second volume. And so now I'm into the third volume and it's very, very um, exciting. So I might end up binging it. We'll see how I feel with these two chapters. Uh, but I feel happy with the progress that I've made with that because I wanted to for sure be done with it by the end of um, July. And it looks like I most definitely will be. Uh, then last uh, yesterday evening, while I was cooking the mushroom soup and everything, uh, after finishing the podcast I was listening to, I listened to some more chapters of The Silver Chair that were so exciting to listen to. It's just a wonderful, wonderful book. I'm really enjoying revisiting it. And I only have about an hour and a half left of that. But I did try to read some more of Horror Store last night. And unfortunately, it has gotten a little too gruesome for me. I'm just, I am like such a wimp when it comes to scary things, like murder mysteries. You know, those are, that's the scariest I like to get, which is not very scary at all. Um, so yeah, it was unfortunately, I was really bummed because I really liked the writing. I thought it was really good writing. Um, so... That is the end of my read of Horror Store. But one nice thing I always feel about DNFs when I have a lot that I want to be reading is I'm like, okay, well, that's one less book I have to try to cram in. Uh, so yeah, I am going to be now working on Furthermore. And that's the last library book I will work on before my summer TBR that I showed you yesterday of six books. I'm going to sit down. I'm waiting. I 
brewed some coffee about an hour ago and it's been sitting in the fridge and now I've put it in the freezer because I really want iced coffee. Um, so I'm hoping that'll cool it down quicker. I want to have some iced coffee and read Thomas Hardy and then I think I'll be just blasting through furthermore after that. What you eating? Uh, I'm eating ice cream. What kind? You know, at the ice cream store. At the ice cream store. What kind of ice cream? Chocolate. Chocolate. Hard. Delicious. Hard, hard chocolate. Hard chocolate, yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, it is now Wednesday afternoon. And as you saw last night, Peter and I went out for ice cream. It was really nice. I don't often get to hang out with just him, like go places. So last night we went on a walk and we got ice cream and it was really nice just to be just the two of us. Uh, but these library books that I'm trying to get through are just dropping like flies uh, with my commitment to them. So I have now DNF'd furthermore. This one, there's nothing that I can put my finger on that's, you know, wrong with it. Uh, I, I was enjoying it. I think, though, I am really excited about the six books on my summer TBR, and so I just feel more motivated to get to those. Um, yeah, because I got like 200 pages into Furthermore, and it was fun. I guess I just think I wasn't drawn in enough. So I started Susanna Kearsley's The Rose Garden. I've only read two chapters, but I think I'm really going to enjoy this. This feels to me like a combination of Rosamund Pilcher, and Mary Stewart. I really think this might be a new author I like. So Brie Held, thank you. This oh, I'm so excited because I looked up and she just has so many books that she's written. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, so yes, and then I was able to read two more chapters of Desperate Remedies. And I'm going to read two more today. And then I'll only have four chapters left. I can't believe it. Um, and then still two chapters behind on Gone with the Wind, but I'm going to try to read some of that this afternoon. So yeah, we went to the park this morning. Uh, I didn't take any like video, but it was a lot of fun. It was a really cool day. And I had forgotten about this one park that we have to drive to. We can't walk there, but there are so many big trees around the park that there's just plenty, plenty of shade. So that was really nice. Just Peter ran around the whole morning and Arthur barely napped the whole morning. So right now both boys are just passed out. They're tired. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to read. And um, I'm really excited. Uh, I'm having trouble deciding which book I want to read. But this is a great problem. Um, I also checked out two more audiobooks. I checked out A Demon Summer. It's the fourth and the fourth, yeah. <laughs> um has anybody see does anybody remember in Shrek when the one when he's the like king is picking between the different things and the one soldier goes number three my lord pick number three maybe think of that anyhow throw back to Shrek uh, I think it's a great problem to have so I checked out Demon Summer the fourth and the Max Tudor mysteries and I'm really really pleased to be back in the series. One thing I realized, you know, out of all these books I have, I didn't really have any mysteries. So that's really nice because I just can't really go for many more books without reading a mystery. And then in addition to that, Kate from the Novel Nomad and I have started our buddy read of the Fleet Street Murders, which is the third and the Charles Lennox series, which is the Victorian series where he is um, in the House of Lords and also does detecting. So really nice series uh, and pl really pleased. I listened to a couple chapters this morning. So really pleased to be back in that series. So later on when I'm uh, getting dinner together, we are going to just be eating leftovers, but I'm also going to make a salad to go along with it. I'll probably listen to some of that. But now I shall be reading and I am really looking forward to all of these books. I'm in a good rhythm this month. Okay. I'm doing a concert and, and I'm sitting on the drum seat. The drum seat? Mm -hmm. and, and I actually have all my audience. You have all your audience? Show us your audience. And 
Wow. Wow. So many people to watch. Big drum. Oh, oh, the drum chords. I see. And another drum seat. And another seat. And another seat. And it's a guitar. Oh, it's a guitar? It's, it's a, this is a drum and a guitar. Drum and a guitar. And that. And I think that. I think that's everything. Oh, and aren't these your drumsticks over here? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. And and there's some there's some stickers. Oh some and stickers. And there's actually some 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 things to sign up with. Things to sign up with? And that's all I have. That's all. Do you want to show your drumming? Wow. It is now Friday morning and um, just like the other Friday when I went to Ikea, I'm wearing like the exact same outfit and makeup, but it's just like one of my favorites this summer. So, um, Marie Kondo would approve. But uh, we are going to, what are we going to, Peter? Uh, we're going to the library. The library. And we, a little bit of Spanish, a little bit of English. It's this really, really cool Spanish English story time. I also asked on a mom's Facebook group I'm a part of for a list of their favorite picture books, and they gave me so many. So I have uh, a few that I wrote down for today that I know are at the library, so I'm also going to pick those up. But we're going to go in, and I will update you how our time at the library was later on. So I thought I would do my little update um, from a more interesting location. We went to Spanish English story time. Super cute. It's really, the lady who does it is just awesome. And she had a baby and a toddler with her and she just, I love this story time. It's very like low key too, which is nice. Uh, so we are at the playground right now. In a few minutes, we're going to head to uh, Burger King that's kind of close by, but we're going to this specific one because it has a play area, which Peter loves. Uh, so quick book haul. I know Memento Mori has taught us that book hauls are dead now, but <laughs> I'm inserting it into a, a vlog sneaky like that. Um, so recently I made a list of random books that if I happen upon these, I'd really like to have them, including the Lunar Chronicles. And I read this last year, The Goose Girl. But these are ones that I definitely wanted to get used like in just a minute. But I didn't want to get, um, I didn't want to pay like full price new for. And I was so excited. This is like, I think in perfect condition and for a dollar um, at the library bookstore. This has a great, this library has a great bookstore. Uh, I really like it. Um, and then I got a really floppy copy of Missing Joseph by Elizabeth George. I have like a really old ratty copy, which is fine. Not every copy has to look pretty, but this is so floppy and it was like $2, I think. So I picked it up particularly because Kate from the novel Nomad and I are picking this one up. Uh, so we like to take our time with those though. This is a beloved, beloved series. So, um, really looking forward to that. And then random one, but I kind of knew I wanted, as soon as I saw it, the vintage book of modern Indian literature. The only Indian literature I've read is A Suitable Boy, but it really had such a special quality about it. And I thought this is a really nice sampling. Um, starts in the 1800s on and uh, all the way to like the 1960s. So I think that'll be a really nice sampling. Uh, then one of my Victorian authors that I want to read all of their works, and I found this in an Oxford World Classics edition, The Law and the Lady by Wilkie Collins. Um, 
So I was just really excited to find a beautiful copy of this. Um, yes. And uh, reading update. I finished last night, very late, Desperate Remedies. What I'm really wanting to just read, read, read all day long is The Rose Garden by Susanna Kearsley. I finally picked this up. We're going so soon. I finally picked this up. Bree Hill recommended this. Um, and I'm so happy. She just kept talking Susanna Kearsley up and I picked this up. And I love that Mel from Mel's Bookland Adventures also likes her. And she said that Susanna Kearsley uh, is like for people who like Outlander, like the like notion of Outlander, but not all the violence and stuff, that they should try her. And I'm absolutely loving this. I'm loving it. So uh, 78 pages in and I cannot wait to continue with this. So this weekend, I think it'll basically be the Fleet Street Murders, the Rose Garden, and Gone with the Wind. Um, just really working on those. I do also have the audiobook of A Demon Summer checked out. I do also have the audiobook of Howard's End checked out because Demon Summer and Fleet Street Murders are both ones I didn't feel comfortable listening in the car around Peter because they have, you know, violence in them that I think is too much for him. So I was meaning to get to Howard's End anyway because Carolyn from Carolyn's Reading Ramblings is going to be visiting me next month. And I'm so excited. We have so many things we want to watch and do. Uh, but one of them is the new adaptation of Howard's End. So I'm going to try to have that listened to by the time she gets here. I also have a really nice paperback of it. So if the audiobook expires, it's not really a huge problem. But I'm really enjoying the first couple chapters that I listen to. I adore... A Room with a View by E.M. Forster. And I just hadn't gotten around to reading Howard's End. I've had the book for years. For some reason, just reading the plot synopsis, it didn't appeal to me as much. But now I'm so happy I had this catalyst to do that. So without further ado, we are going to head to Burger King. Hopefully Arthur will sleep in the car and Peter will have a good time. Hi everyone, it is another Sunday morning that I'm home with just Arthur because he is feeling, um, well actually he's acting very normal, but he has this kind of rash all over his tummy and a little bit on his face. Um, so it might be just some kind of viral thing. He had it yesterday and it's still here today. So um, I'm going to call the pediatrician tomorrow morning to see if they want me to bring him in. But it doesn't seem like he has a fever or anything. So hopefully it'll just pass and resolve itself by tomorrow. Um, but I have made good use of the quiet morning. Um, he, we're transitioning him down to two naps and I was able to keep him up. Um, and give him a bottle right before. So I think he's going to do a really long nap. He did uh, his thing, for those of you that have babies, this is unfamiliar, where once they go through a sleep cycle, they wake up. But he just cried for about a minute, and then he went back down. Um, so I didn't even have to, like, run up there and put his passy back in. Uh, so, yeah. So during that time, I've been working on laundry. And even though my Gone with the Wind audiobook expired, I realized I hadn't checked on YouTube and somebody has put the audiobook up there. Um, so I'm now, um, I'm just perpetually two chapters behind, but I keep wanting to read other stuff once I've read, once I've caught myself up to only be two chapters behind. So right now I'm on page 711 and I am really, I can't believe, you know, this is a lot of reading, but it is still passing by very quickly. And I think um, I'm really going to finish, um, if not the last day of July, the first couple of days of August. So it's been a very successful reread. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, and I had forgotten a lot of this sort of middle towards the end part of the book. And I'm really enjoying 
hearing it all again. So yeah, highly enjoyable. And I'm really pleased that I decided to reread it. Uh, yesterday you saw a little clip, uh, Peter went to my sister's for the day to have like a fun day with with her and her husband and uh, we just hung out with Arthur and we went out for a burger and then we came back and we watched Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone because my husband and I have been saying we wanted to rewatch the movies. So that was really relaxing to have um, time just embroidering and watching Harry Potter was really nice. And I haven't watched the movies in a couple years, I think it's been. And I just love them so much. Uh, so then I am really, really excited about the Rose Garden. I'm going to keep making progress with this. And um, I am up to page 135. And now that I've finished my Gone with the Wind chapters for the day, I want to work on this. And then later on in the day, maybe if I get tired of reading a physical book, I have the morning to myself, I think. If I get tired of reading a physical book, then I will... Um, listen to some audiobook of the Fleet Street Murders because I really need to make progress on that. So I am finding it hard to balance the Rose Garden, which I really just want to be binge reading and Gone with the Wind and um, the audiobook of the Fleet Street Murders. So I do have a little bit of extra reading time today. So hopefully I'll just make a bunch of progress on Fleet Street Murders and the Rose Garden. But I think I'm going to end this week's uh, reading vlog here and start the next one on Monday. I hope you guys uh, had a good week yourself. And I hopefully this will be up on Monday tomorrow. So I'm going to end here and make some good progress with my reading.